Hi everyone, my name is Bindu and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to talk about building relationships between tables in Power BI if the tables have duplicates in them, if the tables have duplicate values in them. Let's quickly take a look at an example and understand what it is about and how you fix that. So in the report I have, I am trying to create, I have two data sets here, manufact table and stock table. Okay, so I am trying to link the product ID between these two tables and when I do that, I get this error, create relationship error. Why am I getting this error? Because in, in manufact table, I have duplicate values for product ID and even in stock table, I have duplicate values in product ID. So when you have this duplicate values, you will not be able to, the Power BI will not allow you to create relationships between them directly. You have to follow a different approach to create the relationships between them. So now let's see how to fix this issue. First, let's see how the data sets look like. I'm going to the tables here and I'm clicking on the edit query. Now in this power query editor, I see manufact table and stock table, both of them here. So the manufact table has product ID, product name, date and the number of products sold for that date. Okay. So here if you see the product ID, uh, product ID, 0301030 it is repeated so we have duplicates here okay and if you look at the stock table even here you have product id product name stock location and the stock available for the uh, specific product and even here the values are duplicated the product id is duplicated here so now uh, if i close this one and I try to create relationship between these two, I get this error and now we have to fix it, right? So before that, let's see without this relationship, how the data looks like, okay? So I'm just pulling in the product ID from stock table. Let's say I create a table here and I want to see the number of products sold for that day, okay? If I see if I select sold for the day column from manufact table for it gives me the same result for all the products which is obviously not right. So that means there is no proper relationship between these two data sets. So now and that's why to get the right data we need to create the relationship properly. So let's now go back to our model here. Now what do I do? You you will be able to fix this issue in multiple ways. You can either merge these two tables and have unique values there. Uh, but if you have a large data set, which is, which is very common in the real world, you cannot merge two big queries. It's going to take you a lot and lot of time. So you can follow this method instead of merging the large tables. Okay. So what are you going to do now is you click on the edit queries here and uh, you go to the power query editor and you see the two tables here right manufact table and stock so in both the tables you have product id so uh, in one of the tables you can click on the product id and you can select the add as new query here you can select this and here you you get a new table here with the name product id and from the list you can right click on it and say remove duplicates so now this product id table has the unique values in them so based on this product id we will be creating the relationship between manufact table and stock table so this product id table will act as an intermediate table for both the above tables okay i'm going to save this say apply say yes here okay so now i have three tables and I'll be creating the relationship from product ID table to manufact table and the same way I create the relationship from product ID to stock table. So I have this product ID table as an intermediate table. You can always change the name of this table if you want. And let's now see how the data looks like. So let's uh, create a table again and get the product ID from the product table and also get the num and I want to see the number of products sold for each product. Previously, if you remember, we got the same value 237 for all the product IDs. 
because now we have the relationship between manufact table and stock table we should see the right numbers so now select on um, number of uh, products sold for the day you have a different values for each of the product so this is how you fix a relationship if you have uh, duplicate values in the tables i hope this is clear if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section below i am getting a lot of requests from the subscribers to start a series on dax queries so that will be coming soon and i'll be starting dax series probably from my next video so please stay tuned and if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and see you in the next video with dax series thank you